and the question is how complex is the uh the the range of possibilities that might happen in the driving task right that's still is is that to you still an open problem of how difficult is driving like philosophically speaking mm. <laughs> like do you, do you, <laughs> all the time you worked on driving do you understand how hard driving is yeah driving is really hard <laughs> because it has to do with the predictions of all these other agents and the theory of mind and you know what they're going to do and are they looking at you are they where are they looking where are they thinking yeah there's a lot that goes there at the at the full tail of you know the the expansion of the nines that we have to be comfortable with it eventually the final problems are of that form i don't think those are the problems that are very common uh, I think eventually they're important, but it's like really in the tail end. In the tail end, the rare edge cases. Yes. Uh, w from the vision perspective, what are the toughest parts of the vision problem of driving? Um, well, basically the sensor is extremely powerful, but you still need to process that information. Um, and so going from brightnesses of these pixel values to, hey, here the three-dimensional world <laughs> is extremely hard. And that's what the neural networks are fundamentally doing. And so um, the difficulty really is in just uh, doing an extremely good job of engineering the entire pipeline, uh, the entire data engine, having the capacity to train these neural nets, having the ability to evaluate the system and iterate on it. Uh, so I would say just doing this in production at scale is like the hard part. It's an execution problem. So the data engine, but also the, um, the sort of deployment of the system such that it has low latency performance. Yes. So it has to do all these steps. Yeah, for the neural net specifically, just making sure everything fits into the chip on the car. Yeah. And uh, you have a finite budget of flops that you can perform and uh, and memory bandwidth and other constraints. And you have to make sure it flies and you can squeeze in as much compute as you can into the tiny. What have you learned from that process? Because it, maybe that's one of the bigger, like new things coming from a research background where there's there's a system that has to run under heavily constrained resources, right. has to run really fast. What what kind of insights have you uh, learned from that? Yeah, I'm not sure if it's if there's too many insights. You're trying to create a neural net that will fit in what you have available, and you're always trying to optimize it. And we talked a lot about it on the AI day, and uh, basically the the triple backflips that the team is doing <laughs> to make sure it all fits and utilizes the engine. Uh, so I think it's extremely good engineering. Um, and then there's all, all kinds of little insights peppered in on how to do it properly.